Hello again, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. Another great American craft beer review with Kyle here on a Thursday. A uh, fantastic Thursday that I'm at Wolverines. are going to have another shot to win a big game. Uh, first and four against those fighting Irish. Hoping they can play Ohio State in the title game. Ohio State kicks off here in about an hour against Minnesota Duluth. That would be ideal. Uh, but we'll see. We know how my teams are in winning championships and choking. So not getting my hopes up. They have beat Minnesota twice. They're rolling. But... The layoff in the first and four is ridiculous. You know, two weeks, that's not right. It should have been last week. I get it. The mark, the final four for the NCAA basketball, but these teams that were playing great hockey, you have to take two weeks off, and that, that's tough for anybody. But back to the beer here for our sampling pleasures, tasting delights today. I have a beer that I started drinking just a couple weeks ago. I don't know if I've ever re tried, re recall having this. It's from the Great Lakes Brewing Company. It's the Conway's, Conway's Irish Ale. Look at that, boy. The Conway's Irish Ale. It says an Irish-style ale. It says a pint for P.A. Conway, our co-owner's grandfather and policeman, who'd likely uphold that an Irish ale with full-bodied caramel malt flavors is just the ticket. Now, one thing I will say, I bought this from Meyer today. I was doing some grocery shopping. Uh, it's just past its prime. Uh, it says, in, for freshest taste, please enjoy by 319.18. So... Uh, you know, this is not an IPA per se, uh, per se. so we're about two, three, or almost three weeks past the uh, the peak of it. I do think it might be okay. I had it on tap on local Hooters uh, last week. It's a great beer. I, I really enjoy it, but uh, single bottling was two bucks. Uh, the rear check's in at 6.3% alcohol by volume. IBUs are 25. Great Lakes are very descriptive. They do a great job, and uh, this is actually one of the, I've, I've had this before. Just didn't check it in. They, have ne they never really drank a lot of this beer. It's a, it's a uh, yearly release. I'm going to put this into the 18 release. Great Lakes standard bottle cap there. Nothing to see new. Uh, I've done dozens of Great Lakes beer reviews. Not this one. I do have the Great Lakes glassware. That will make <coughs> Andre and Brent proud. Uh, let's go ahead and get a pour. It's an Irish shell. Very good. I'll, an Irish, I, I'm a fan of Irish shells. The mold of your beers. You know, so many people are not. I know these are the kind of beers you were raised on. And now the IPA is the big thing, opposite of the bourbon barrel stouts. But there's so many other styles of beer. And people, when you think you think beer, you either think Bud Light, Budweiser, or you think IPAs, or you think bourbon barrel stouts. There's so much more to beer with box and ambers and Irish ales and red ales and even sour beers. And there's just so much more porters, so much more you can drink and try than just barrel aged stouts and IPAs. And you're either one or the other, and, and, and there's no in between. So I'm in between with all of it. This is why... I, you know, I wanted to get this. This, this beer still looks great. Look at that color. I tell you what, that red, that red amber color. My God, that looks so awesome. Look at the carbonation. Boy, it just looks awesome. Now, being past this prime, I don't think it's going to affect it a ton. If it does, I, I will not really rate the review, rate the beer in fairness. I don't, you know, I thought that this would be a little fresher, not being a month past as Meyer, but certainly I don't think Meyer is selling the beer that Jungle Gems is or, you know, a beer store in particular. But it is cool. They have some really good six packs at Meyer uh, of beers that are really some nice breweries of six packs that are distributing, not really individual bottles. This will be one for the collection there, the Conway's Irish Ale. Uh, done a good job, so 6.3. I want to thank all my friends though. Uh, after my uh, my friend's uh, tragic death Monday, had it really came and rallied around me. Uh, you really feel good. I know I've had friends and uh, but really a lot of support. I want to thank each and every one of them. Uh, who have really reached out and I mean literally probably 56 maybe up close to 100 people I don't can't I don't have an exact figure but it's several dozen at least 60 70 people I know for sure I'm probably missing a few and just uh, very blessed and fortunate to have that also with the basement flooding I had several friends offer to help that went down quick it went down as fast as it rose thank goodness but boy it's been a it's been a crazy couple of days here you know with Michigan in the championship game and uh your childhood friend blowing his brains out and then you know getting four inches of rain and tornado warnings and watches and and then snow flurries so <laughs> you know and, I, and that's, that's that's part of life you're gonna have roller coaster rides you're gonna have bumps you're gonna have bruises you're gonna have gut punches and this was definitely a, a gut punch week but here we are we're happy and things are good so cannot do what's done and that's you know that's just you know people dwell and people grieve in a different way but uh, with good friends and great beer we will be okay and we'll get there and life will go on unfortunately without the great Devin, but uh, here we are, uh, this is the Conway's Irish Ale, i got a quick, quick aroma here, again, roasted malt, caramel malt, biscuit malt, this is a malt beer, folks, uh, 
it's really all you can say malt uh different flavors of malt caramel malt and biscuit malt uh let's thank the brewers of great lakes we love those guys again really starting to wish they could do more again you know, they do have a new beer cloud cutter that i'm going to dip into here shortly but i, I don't I'd like to see them do a few more new things. They have not, but we'll see. Uh, cheers, everybody, and again, uh, go blue tonight. Here we go. Yeah, I think it's good. I, I really good. Refreshing beer. You can tell that it's a little bit. The malt character is still holding on, but I definitely feel. Well, again, I had this on draft last week that this beer's lost a little bit of that caramel malt. But still, I think it's very good. I'm going to rate it a B plus. I think being 319 on the back of the bottle, I still want to give it a 319. It's a tremendous beer. So, uh, again, this is a great, like, seasonal, the Conway Irish. Look at the lacing. Let's take a look at some serious lacing. It's a nice card. That's a great color. And this is this girl's good in the Great Lakes glass. Thank you again, Andrea, for that. Boy, this would be so much better for it. I still think it's a great beer. It really is good on draft. I'll tell you what, that caramel malt in this beer, if you like, it's an Irish, if you like malts, kind of like an amber ale per se, although it's listed as an Irish ale, but I really enjoy it. I think it's one of those, again, 6'3", probably have three or four of these. Uh, you're not going to drink 10 of them, but 6'3 is not bad, 2% more than a Bud Light, but I'd be user perfect, 25 is enough bitterness in the finish on the finish. I get a good mouthfeel, biscuit, caramel malt. Just a slight bitter finish, length that might be used. Just enough to know that there's some hop presence in it, but not certainly not hoppy. Certainly not a hopped up beer. It's a malt beer, but well balanced. Uh, like I said in the back, but another, another Great Lakes beer that you just you just tip your cap. You know, and you, you, I'm shooting my own horn and continuing to just talk to myself about Great Lakes. But I do wish they'd do some other stuff. You know, Cloud Cutter, I want to try, but just don't seem to really. They're one of those companies. I think that they're afraid to make. And I'm not saying this in a bad way. They're afraid to make something weird. When I say weird, I mean a sour or a peanut butter. Or even, they don't make a lot of barrel air. Just something crazy. They're afraid to do that and, and fail, I think, is what it is. They've gotten successful. They've never failed with a beer. And I think if they think they make one bad beer, their image is going to be bad. And I, you can't fault them for that. Uh, so many other small breweries who are going to have the big name have to try something unique and crazy to get their name out. And they brew it right, then they got a following. And that's awesome. And... Not knocking Great Lakes, not knocking the other breweries. It's, they just took two different paths, and that's where it's at. So, again, I enjoy them. So, uh, try this beer. I think most people have probably had this at some point. It's on tap pretty regularly. It's this uh, spring seasonal. Again, Conway's Irish Yale, Great Lakes Brewing Company. And uh, that's going to do it for me, folks. Uh, B plus for me. Again, you can tell the flavors are have lost a little bit of a, a bite. But still, I think this beer probably would be good another a couple more weeks, maybe in, maybe in MA with the 319 date so b plus for me again i want to thank all my friends and my viewers and i uh, continue to uh follow or continue to have my uh support for that my friend's uh tragic loss and uh life is good when you have stuff like that people and they can really uh help you get through things so very fortunate but uh again b plus here and uh, we'll see you guys soon cheers